Women's Resource Center of Northern Michigan was founded more than 40 years ago, providing essential services and support to survivors of domestic abuse and sexual assault, as well as other quality programs and services for women, children, and individuals. Violence against women is preventable, and I'm witnessing it every day. At the Women's Resource Center, we truly believe that one person's action can create a wave of change. We have a really good example in our community, the Van Dam Boat Company and Steve Van Dam. He recognized that this was not a woman's issue, that really violence is a men's issue and a community issue. And if we could get men involved in ending violence against women, then we really could make that social change. This is an issue that just can't be ignored. And, you know, we're just a small business here in northern Michigan, but I can make an impact on those that are around me, those that are in kind of my sphere of influence. One individual starts a ripple effect. You know, one person influencing the person next to him starts a movement that changes a culture. Well, when I started the business, I just wasn't focused on the issues around. But really what set it off, I think, is, is my daughter-in-law when she and Ben met and she introduced us a video that uh, just really opened my eyes. So one of the documentaries that Women's Research Center of Northern Michigan was able to show was about misogyny and media and the culture. And what came out of that documentary was that music has all of these words hidden into it sometimes that you just, you never pay attention to, but they are so awful and degrading towards women. And so when Ben and Steve, they had watched this movie a couple of times and they said, that is it. That was a bit of an epiphany for me, I think. I really became aware of some of those subtle things in our culture and in our business that I could have an impact on, that I could make a statement here. And I think immediately after we saw that, we had a meeting with our shop and I just let our shop know that I, I didn't want to hear that stuff. That was just not going to be in our shop. We weren't going to have that kind of culture. It was just, we needed to say it and get it out in the open. I think that everyone here is on board with the fact that there is no violence against women, none. And it's expected that you will behave at home the way you behave at work. Working at Van Dams is probably very different than working at other boat yards. There are high standards set on us here. Somebody who is not going to show respect to women aren't going to have a place here. My daughter Kyra feels respected. Women should expect that same treatment across the board. I mean, other men should be setting the bar themselves, you know. They need to set the stage for themselves and take example from other men who show respect to women that this is what's expected of them. It is men's responsibility to end violence towards women and girls. They can be fathers, they can be sons, they can be employers, they can be community members, coaches, uncles, but friends too, just in their conversations with their network. I think, uh, you know, the act of a group of men coming together to make the change is extremely important. The Women's Resource Center of Northern Michigan decided to make a strategic effort to engage men in ending violence against women. So we started a 100 men campaign where we reached out to men and really showed the men in our community that they are part of the solution. I think that one of the powerful parts about the 100 men campaign is just the act of making the pledge to not be silent uh, about the issue of violence towards women and girls. Just to say I am not gonna sit on the sidelines while this happens. A lot of men care about this issue deeply, but they just don't know quite how to respond. So there are really simple ways that you can respond. You know, you can speak out about a bad joke or point out, you know, a bad ad that you see in a magazine or, 
you know, talk to your friends about being involved in their community in different ways or going to that documentary showing, um, just to raise awareness and start a conversation with people around you. Violence against women and children is preventable and you can play a role in making that change. I think the actions that one person can take or the words that they say or the way they conduct themselves uh, will impact the person next to them and uh, that person then will go forward and we start to build kind of a wave impacting and ending violence against women and girls.